Hello guys, it's Patro TV here. I'm just going to quickly explain how to set up the plotting on your processor uh, and your plotting. So basically, you have six cores, 12 threads on the Ryzen 5 3600. If you have a different processor, just press Ctrl Shift Escape, navigate to Performance tab, and that will tell you under your CPU what are your cores and logical cores. I have 32 gigs of RAM and take a note of this that there is 5.7 gigabytes used. On default there's around 4 gigabytes used, maybe because I'm currently mining, but uh, yes, so you have to take that under consideration when using your PC. So there's 26 gigabytes available. And if we go to plotting, start a plot and with the parallel number six. So the way you can get the delay time, you have to first start two plots. Okay, so before you do this video, just start two plots in parallel and see how long it will take you to complete uh, the first two phases. I will show you uh, in shortly how can you check the logs and how long it takes you. So I do 85, because that's my delay. So to calculate your delay, it will be your, let's say phase one, plus your phase two, and then you, that will be in seconds, divided by 60, that's roughly, of course, this is this, I'm just putting random numbers, so ignore those numbers. My estimate is around 10 hours, so multiply by 60, I want a minute, I want to do seven plots, it's 85 minutes. So the RAM I set to 3800 because some of the buckets are three and a half gigabytes, adding more RAM makes it run faster. Uh, number of threads, I set it to 12 because the Usage will be distributed evenly across 12 cores uh, for the plot and then we complete the task as soon as possible because the only bottleneck will be your processor and your hard drive at the end that's doing the writing. Default, leave the queue the same because you don't want to change the queue. It won't, we won't continue plotting if you have different name for your parallel plots and different to your queue. So by doing this, there is no queue. There is no queue. Just imagine there's no one waiting. Uh, and let's go on here. Temporary drive. Let's set thread seven. That's where I keep my plots. The first six will write onto the drive seven. I create those plots and do delay. So on here, of course, you can see how long it will take you. It will say in the logs. So you click on those uh, dots, view logs. And at one point, when it's around 31%, it will show you phase one is at 31% uh, complete and how long it took. Then the phase two is around 32, 33%. And you can check that as well. And it will give you the uh, timing for that. So then you take those numbers into calculator and you add them up, divided by 60, because all of the results are going to be in seconds. And that's your time for two plots for two phases, okay? And you multiply the number, let's say it's uh, 600, okay? Uh, that's 10 hours. If you're losing Intel processors, uh, they might run a bit slower. But let's say you have 600 for your two phases. You multiply by, the, by two, that's how long it would take to do uh, let's say two or four plots. They, you did. You were doing two plots, and that's roughly wait, twelve hundred divided by sixty. So that's twenty hours you managed to do two plots. Okay. So what you want to do is uh, you do twenty divided by the number of plots. So let's say you want to do four plots, it's five times that by 60, 300 delay. That's what I'm uh, running on my i7 7700, uh, 300 delay because it's actually quite slow. 
and as you can see the workload is distributed evenly on here so that's what I want to do and you will see shortly that it will start running fairly quickly as there is no queue we need to create the queue so I do the same settings for this one the same name of the queue and let's say I want to write 10 plots onto a drive uh, make sure I put this temporary folder I mean temporary drive and I put it on a drive 7 plots and that will write next 10 onto a drive uh, 7 okay and that adds it to the queue the problem is here it doesn't recognize these plots as you can see uh, that are in the parallel it automatically starts so you have two starting at the same time that can be a bit of an issue for some users that have a uh, slower uh, processors as you can see now it starts to work all of the uh, uh, cores are being used as you can see it's already doing it very quickly because it has all of the threads assigned to it and what we can do now if you want to add another drive you do just keep on adding to the queue let's say 10 3800 12 threads same queue temporary drive and i want to write it to your drive one and plots and i know that it Let's say how many I can put in there. I can put 33, let's say more. So I just put 29. And that would just continue the queue once it has finished and it was doing it. Uh, someone asked before, how do I know if it's uh, farming? So if your full node status, I mean, yeah, so if it's not synchronized, your wallet, then it's out of sync. And it won't plot so you need to uh, wait for it to synchronize sometimes it takes a while for me yeah it's like five ten minutes and then it will start uh, saying farming here it's green when it's green it means it's uh, farming your uh, basically chia you would have to wait and be potentially lucky my estimate at the moment is not available but i think it's around two two months uh, for my chia and you saw that I was on bucket 8 and this is already at bucket 21 uh, so it's doing it very very quickly that's why I want to set it up on the 12 threads because I wanted to complete as quickly as possible after 31% he uses the processor much less so it doesn't use it by much but still uses it and yeah so that's pretty much it uh, if you have any more questions just put it down below you can keep it on adding things to the plot queue so selecting the drive you want to do it uh, if you have a different queue name then those parallel plots they won't actually uh, go and complete those uh, plots they will just uh, yeah they won't do it so just make sure you have the default name or uh, specific name if you want to run two queues you could run two queues but then it's messy uh, i believe it's you're gonna ha run into the problems and you have to calculate delays in a different way but that's pretty much it from me and i hope this helps setting up the uh, six, seven parallel plots uh, if you want me to do a quick guide on how to set up uh, uh, four parallel plots for one terabyte ssd just uh, let me know down let me know down in the comments and i can do that for you and if you could leave a like, it's greatly appreciated. Many thanks for watching.